Tomatoes are one of my favorite shrubs. I grow them in Bedford. I grow them in Long Island. I even have started to plant hydrangeas at my house in Maine. These big bloom plants produce some of the most magnificent, breathtaking blossoms in the plant world. After receiving a gorgeous arrangement of them from our next guest, uh, after the opening of the opera, I knew we just had to have him back on the show. Please welcome floral designer Oscar Mora. Wait, so nice to have you. Thank you so much. Wasn't, wasn't the opera fantastic? The opera was amazing. Oh. And it was so nice to run into you there. Yeah. And it was actually very nice that you recognized me and um, say hi. Yes. I was really flattered. Well, Thank you. Anyway, you're, you were such a big hit on the show the last time, and your arrangements are so colorful and luscious and vol Thank actually you. kind of voluptuous. And you've been working on some really big projects, doing movie premieres. Yeah, mostly mo uh, movie premieres, which, uh, well, I, I think finally the name Oscar is probably paying off. Oh, good. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. on, we have some pictures of some of the beautiful arrangements. Oh, now, where was this? Okay, this is one of the bar arrangements. Oh. They were actually huge. They were like um, uh, lily trees because they were just made with curly willow. Oh, beautiful. Really big uh, branches of curly willow with the leaves Lilies. and then lilies. There, the, the main palette was all pink, like all hot pink. Gorgeous. So, and very clear, clean vases. And this one? This was actually, that's one of my favorite jobs I've done lately, uh, which was in Amsterdam. That was the premiere of the new James Bond movie. Oh, I can't wait to see Quantum it. Called Quantum of oh. Solace. That yeah. is actually coming out here now. Yeah, I can't wait but to see it. It was a premiere for uh, Sony Entertainment. Entertainment and there. this one? Uh, this is a buffet arrangement for the premiere of Body of Lies at the Allen Room at the Jazz Lincoln Center, oh, not too long ago, at the gorgeous. beginning of this month. So that's Thank big you. leaves and big Go, blossoms. Um, tropical foliage, but using these lush dahlias that we've done here before. And now this is a typical Oscar design, too. Uh, this wonderful coxcomb or... Um, Celosia, the green Celosia. And these amazing, beautiful amazing? autumnal hydrangeas. Yeah, I know hydrangeas are your really oh, favorite I flowers. I, I actually that. take these home. I told Oscar <laughs> yesterday, I take them home and I... Uh, root, I take pieces of the stem, I root them, and then I grow them as bushes in my garden. So you can do that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So these are gorgeous, too. So um, we have today well, a beautiful wooden box. We have a, a very typical, com a very traditional, let's say that way, combination, which is always fantastic and always works, which is the hydrangeas and the roses. And we have right. a little touch of car those carnations that I you like so much, too. too. I yeah. know you do. Yeah. So, um, but normally we do, you, the, the, most of the time you see um, hydrangea arrangements in a very classical container. Yes. Today we're going to do something very architectural. Yeah. Right? Using well, the same like kind this. of flowers with a very sleek, modern. So, do you design your box. own containers too? Uh, no, not yet, not but yet. I'm planning on doing that in the oh, future. Oh, good, good. Yes. But this <laughs> so, is a good, um, this is a good this, liner. This is a metal liner that comes with a vase with your. And you created gonna, a grid. Oscar's yes, exactly. created a grid across the top to hold the flower stems uh, with uh, floral with tape. With this floral tape, yeah. It's very important always to put the one around that yeah. holds the ones that are on top. So if you don't, you don't have to have frogs inside the uh, frogs, exactly. those, those flower holders. So let's put these okay. inside. Since yeah. these are your favorite flowers, I thought that you, you would be excited to design an arrangement with oh, me. Oh, yeah, I can't so wait. So we choose two different palettes, Monica. Oops. Oh. So floral life, right? Flower food. Into, First of all, yeah. yes. Once you put the water in, make yes. sure that you put some of this to prolong the life of your flowers. You know, it's, it's exactly. again, this is an economy. A little bit that this costs will prolong the life and the beauty of your cut flowers. So it's very important oh, to do that. Definitely. Oops, I dropped my knife. Once, we're going to do this one here. Okay. And uh, we're going to start with the hydrangeas, first of all. Once okay. we condition the water, we're going to start with the hydrangeas. So I would say that's too tall, right? Yeah, it is too tall. What okay. we're going to do is because I, my hydrangeas are smaller than yours. Okay. So you're probably going to be able to fill out the, the top of the vase with um, less flowers than I do. So, okay, now take off the leaves if they're wilted, right? Some of the leaves you can leave. I mean, if they're wilted, of course, but some yeah. of the leaves you can just leave them. And there we give a and very a fresh beautiful cut. Touch. I always like to use a fresh it's cut. It's very important to have a fresh cut for every okay. flower you put in the side. These are so an beautiful. Yeah. Really beautiful. So I choose a palette all in terracottas and greens for you. Yep. So, and I'm and gonna then. work on the purples. So I have the feeling that I came a little bit matching to this today. Okay. So yeah, you did, didn't you? I, would you say that it was prepared? Yeah. Well, 
Honestly, this is the only place where I get to do flowers so put together. The most of the time I look Maestro. like a terrorist. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what with that mustache? Now look at oh. this. Look at this. This is called, this is an amaranth, right? An amaranthus, yes. yes. And, but it is Love Lies of Bleeding. Uh, and this is so beautiful when it grows. That is a difficult name for me always to Love remember. Love lies a bleeding. <laughs> so this can be draped over the so to, to over the table. The... I love so this. So what we're going to do, Martha, we should probably tie, cut this one a little shorter, shorter. so we can just cover yeah, the okay. whole surface better. Okay. Yeah. I will. I'll help you out. This one? Second. Yeah, that one. Oh, okay. So we have. I'm doing more. it differently. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Why should I follow directions? Yeah. No, well, um, there. Okay. That's working pretty well. Yeah. So we need to mostly fill out the space now with the roses. Okay. We got some terracotta roses. Oh, these are beautiful. I have for mine here. I have some. I actually love the name of this. Uh, perfect now for Halloween. They're called Voodoo. Voodoo. Yes. Yes. Now these roses. Um, what's, what's mine? Mine is Voodoo also. No. No. Yours are terracotta. Yeah. Okay. That, that is oh, the, name the name of the roses. Okay. Yes. And, well, I was going to tell you to put some touch of the amaranthus, but you already went ahead. Okay, so it sorry. Looks fantastic. No, you, no, no. You tell us what you're doing, because I'm going to probably be doing something else. I'm not going to try to control it. <laughs> <laughs> but so. it's so beautiful. Oh, these are gorgeous arrangements. Now, um, now, where's your shop? I don't have a flower oh. shop. The most of the time, I, I prefer to keep it that way, because Do a flower shop... Do you have a website? I have a website, of course. Okay, so you go to OscarMora.com. Oscarmora okay. Is that easy? So flower shops are a little bit of a slaveness because um, maintaining flowers is very difficult. So I want to keep it a little low key better. Oh, this is so pretty. I love all these yeah. combinations. I love the colors, Oscar. This is beautiful. Mm. Really Thank you so much. When we come back, we'll show you the finished arrangement. And also, is going to also show us a unique way of making place card holders using flowers and some citrus.